The X-Tool RA2 rotary attachment is a very versatile addition to a diode laser. When I purchased my X-Tool D1 laser, it came bundled with a roller-style rotary attachment. You can see that in the top of this photo. When X-Tool announced that they were coming out with their RA2 Pro, and I saw photos of its chuck configuration, I ordered one right away. What I didn't realize at the time was that out of the box, it's actually configured as a roller adapter, and it's a simple matter to remove the rollers and install the chuck. Near the bottom of this photograph, you can see all of the parts that come with the RA2 Pro. Because I already have the original roller adapter, I'll leave the RA2 Pro configured with its chuck. This video shows a few tips that you might find useful when using the RA2 Pro. Two hex wrenches are in the package with the adapter. These are used to remove the rollers, install the chuck, change chuck jaws, and to reverse the bed. These L-shaped hex wrenches, otherwise known as Allen wrenches, are not the most convenient tools to use. So my first tip is to get a set of metric ball end hex screwdrivers. I bought a set of six screwdrivers ranging in size from 1.3 to 4 millimeters. The nice thing about ball end drivers is that you don't have to be straight on in order to engage the screw head, so you can come at it at a bit of an angle. This makes changing chuck jaws very quick and easy. And to make it even easier, my next tip is to take a small high-powered magnet and attach it to the shaft of the screwdriver. Because the screws are steel, the magnet will hold the screws onto the tip of the screwdriver, making it even easier to wrangle these little screws. Instead of mounting jaws, you can use the included studs and place them into any of the chuck mounting holes. This can be very useful for holding small parts, expanding from within a center hole, or gripping from the outside perimeter. To keep the steel studs from scratching your workpiece, the next tip is to get some rubber end cap screw protectors, also known as bolt covers. I bought a kit with assorted sizes in two colors. The rubber pieces slip onto and grip the studs. This makes for soft, cushioned ends to contact your workpiece. Sometimes it's nice to make one a different color perhaps to designate one position that you want to keep on top during framing. One great use for the studs is to hold spheres between the chuck body and the tail module. However, I prefer to have some items closer to the chuck body. So the next tip is to get an assortment of 4mm socket head cap screws to use in place of the studs. Here you can see how the lengths compare to a stud. Insert the screws into the chuck body and add some rubber bolt protectors. Then when the sphere is placed, the tail module can be brought in much closer. Note that once the rubber caps are on the screws, you can generally grip the caps with your fingers to remove or install the screws without using the hex wrench. Similar to using the tail module, it's generally a good idea to support the far end of an item gripped in the chuck. So the next tip is a reminder to use the support module where possible. The height of the module is easily adjusted so the end of the workpiece rides on the two bearings and the weight is distributed. Mugs with handles are a problem for many rotary adapters because the handle can't clear the bed or rollers during rotation. Xtool's solution was to let you change the position of the bed. So instead of being under the chuck, you can move the bed to the other end and raise the entire assembly. Here's a photo from the product launch live stream that shows this configuration, as well as placing a weight onto the repositioned bed to balance and secure the assembly. The advantage of this technique is that it gives great flexibility in the size of the piece you can hold. However, for things like mugs, I prefer to keep the workpiece over the bed. So though not a tip, Here's a peek at some riser blocks that I 3D printed to raise the height of the chuck for two different size mugs. The risers use a longer belt, and each riser has an idler pulley to make sure the belt has the correct tension, and screws that don't interfere with the roller belt below the chuck. 
The goal of this design was to have the risers work within the enclosure I built, with the leg extensions that ship with the original rotary tool, and still be able to focus the laser. So this is a fairly simple design that might give folks some ideas for other ways to configure this very adaptable rotary tool. Finally, my last tip is about keeping track of all the pieces of the RA2 Pro. I bought a 16-inch plastic toolbox that has a removable tray. In goes the adapter with the tail and support modules. A parts case with movable dividers holds all the little pieces, accessories, the rollers, and the ball end drivers. The top tray is available for wedges used to level the adapter for tapered items, my risers, and perhaps some other items that I'll want to keep together. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to order from the Xtool site, using the affiliate link in the description is appreciated. Thanks for watching.